All right, and then last item, the most important of items, and that is the SpongeBob costume. Welcome home, Rep Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And I also have a, a serial killer dog. <laughs> Ryan made her really horrific. Oh. But the thing is, is the thing about serial killers is they look just like everybody else. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys are, you know the drill. Nickelodeon Halloween flip. You're watching me. It's about to get a whole lot brighter rep pack because your boy is here and today we're going to be going to one of my favorite places that I can only go for two to three months out of the year and that is Spirit Halloween. They used to be located inside Toys R Us's in our area for a while. Then they were located inside of like these two closed Sears buildings. Where will they be located this year? I don't know. But the point is that somehow they find a location every year. It's a whole warehouse on par of the size of like Toys R Us in those places but it's filled completely with Halloween stuff. I mean they've got costumes, they've got decorations, they've got makeup. What else do you need for Halloween? Um, friends. Those are priceless. Let me tell you about friends. I have a handful of them. The gang's all here. But they have products that you can't get at the typical stores like Walmart or Target because it's a specialty store and they can just put way more on the shelf. So last year we got so many awesome anime products, but I wasn't doing this channel at that time. So therefore I didn't look for as much Nickelodeon stuff as they actually had. This time we're going to be going there looking for Nickelodeon stuff, Cartoon Network stuff, anything nostalgic, anything that fits the bill. You guys know the vibe. We're going to hop in the car right now and head over to Spirit Halloween. Okay guys, I am super tired because we've been doing so much over here on the channel and different stuff, but I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and also the support. Thank you guys, this is literally the best ever. I love you guys so much. And then not just that, this is not the only trip we did. We also went to Walmart a few weeks ago when they first started putting stuff out and we actually got some footage there. So that's actually gonna be playing while we drive over to Spirit Halloween. And it should take us about two minutes and 10 seconds from there. So let's go ahead and play that clip and we should be there by then hopefully. So we're in Walmart right now guys and we're looking at all the Halloween stuff. Look what we just found dude. Yeah. <laughs> what are the odds? It's such a perfect incorporation into the room. This is gonna be going all October. But dude, check out some of the costumes. They got the freaking Ender Dragon right here, which is so awesome. We got some swords as well. We got this brainwashed kid. Man, look at him. He just, Brian. Brian, no, no. Oh, dude, this one's so for you. I can be Shadow what? and you can be that kid. What? You can't be Sauna, you can just be that kid. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> But we also even did so cool to see that they got Powerpuff Girls stuff today. Like, that is awesome. This is the reboot, obviously, right here. But the show's not even on right now. So it just shows how popular Powerpuff Girls are. We should call them popular Puff Girls. <laughs> okay, guys. So we checked out everything here. We'll check out the decorations and we're going to work our way out. I found it really cool and this so reminds me of Scooby-Doo, like the random animated eyes. But I think this is the best vibe for the room. But I feel like because we have so many shelves and stuff that the projections aren't gonna look flat. So maybe these ones though, you'll be able to see them in certain spots pop up. So we're gonna get this one for right now. I think it's everything we're actually gonna get here. Let's head back to the cavern. So we're back now. Based off my watch, we should almost be at Spirit Halloween. So these right here are these awesome webs. I always love these in houses. These are like a cobweb kind of vibe. Something like Scooby-Doo where you see the webs just everywhere, like dust collecting. Thing. And then the key, of course, was the SpongeBob vampire display. I don't know, maybe at Spirit Halloween they might have it, but there is also a Pirate Patrick one. Can you imagine we have the SpongeBob one here, the Patrick one here, some webs, some lights. It's gonna be a dope holiday! But we also got this cartoon display eye thing, which is pretty cool. And it actually makes these cartoon faces all over the room. Let's look close to a wall so we can see it a little better. Yeah, I love it. But the only thing I don't like about it is if you listen, there's a constant clicking noise. That'll drive you mad. Now, maybe this might be used or not, but either way, the other stuff definitely is. And I'll see you guys at Spirit Halloween. <laughs> Would you look at that? My watch got it right on the dot. Call this the Omnitrex. All right, we are inside, guys. Let's go ahead and make some transformations and see if we can find some costumes inside the store right now. Let's do it. Okay guys, 
so we made it in here. I already found one thing we're getting for sure. The Blue's Clues Halloween basket. And look, it is Spirit Halloween exclusive. But these are the displays I'm talking about right here, like the bluey one. These ones, every single year I show Spirit Halloween, they always close it down and they sell all those things. Pretty much, I think employees do or something. They go online. So look out for those when Halloween's over. We got this guy right here. And for right now, I'm also going to grab this Haunted Mansion bag clip. I already got some shots over here on the left. There's some cool stuff. But we're going to grab this for right now and keep looking. That is actually the cutest thing ever. So we're in the kids' costumes right now. That is like the most precious thing ever. I really love that. That gives me hope for uh, an adult size one. You're gonna be in it. What? <laughs> it's an adult one, you're getting it. I'll get the SpongeBob one, maybe, if they have it. It's at a good price. So we have some more kids' costumes over here. We got Buzz Lightyear, but honestly, this is really inspiring because it's like, at least the stuff that we grew up with is still like in the zeitgeist of kids' mind. We got some blues clues. Oh, they're so adorable, dude. Like, it's just like, it's such a cool costume. Like, they actually have that for kids now. I mean, of course, it's blues clues and you. And then we got one more of the Patrick right here. Like, so we're getting closer to finding the adult Patrick very, very soon. I like how you're side-eyeing me now. Well, yeah, because I'm just looking for it, so that way I can get it on you. <laughs> okay, if we end up doing an anime video, like, I love this one. Dude. I love the spiky hair. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I love how Naruto anime here equals Liberty Spikes. <laughs> the Kakashi looks so fierce. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Avatar. Oh, I got to grab that. You're right. We're going to go ahead and grab the Avatar bag. They have some masks too as well. We already have all of the official masks as well for all this stuff. We got this last year too, which is the Aang staff. So we're going to leave that as well. You might have seen it, but we're going to leave that. They have a lot of cool stuff, but it's actually, there's more anime. Oh, dude, that's another display I'd love. The Sonic one right there. Oh, that one is cool too. But the only thing I've seen so far is the Scooby-Doo blanket. We might come back and pick this up, but I'm going to leave it for right now. And then... I really like this, but we actually got this in fan mail. Fosto sent this over from fan mail, so thank you so much to Fosto. So we already have this guy. I would have definitely picked this up. This is so cool. Actually, kind of scraped. That was Parker's idea. Okay, so we got the monkey bob. That is cool. I don't think it comes with this whole little gazebo piece, but damn, that guy is really creepy for sure. Like, they've gone crazy with their decorations the last few years. All right, give me your honest opinion. Yeah, I would take that off. You look like the redneck Willy Wonka, like Billy Wonka. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> How come we haven't had this before? I know, and then they have this one too. We're gonna be picking this one up for sure. That's something that'll look good in the collection. And then dude, they got Drake out here delivering pizza. We got the Krusty Krab jacket. We're gonna be getting this guy as well. Like I almost wanna get the SpongeBob costume. With my inflatable costume, like with the Reptar one, I didn't end up wearing it besides the one time. So like, I don't really necessarily want to keep it. It's not super displayable. So yeah, I'm no reason to get the Patrick one either. Maybe we'll get the Patrick. If you guys wanna see us come back, good for the Patrick one. Maybe Maybe then, if you guys want to decide, I'll let you guys know and we can get one of these costumes. If you guys want to see that, let me know and we'll pick one of these ones. If, if, maybe. Hit the like button though, a lot. Dude, and they have Barnacle Boy. I wish they had Mermaid Man. Oh, that's kind of, it's weird. It's a uh, big old typo. Barnacle Man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you're serious. I was like, oh wow, really? No, but I think this one is super cute too. We have the Sandy one as well. It doesn't have her dome, but they have a hoodie to make up for it, which is really cool. This is actually a pretty good Rick costume, I feel like. like. Oh yeah. Like, how would you really bring Rick to life, I feel like? It's a pretty good one. And then over here we have the portal gun, which I almost want to get, but they actually released a real portal gun. It's a lot higher quality of this. Ryan will pop up on screen. But I did want to share with you guys the Rick and Morty collection, because it is definitely part of the Cartoon Network branding. Okay, then we have this really cool Powerpuff Girls necklace, and not just that a whole Powerpuff Girls section. The the eyes are kind of scary, but they kind of work. Like this one especially works surprisingly well. These two are a little off, but I feel like the buttercup one works. I like it. I mean, the fact that it's there, it's just yeah, kind of, it's just kind of amazing. Cool. I wonder what else was here though. Who knows what else they had. Parker spotted this one, dude. This is sick. We got the Pizza Planet hoodie on. Like, I want to try it on because I actually really like this. It's a little big. Oof. Damn. I like this, dude. That just made you look more buff, too. <laughs> well, thanks. And then the inside is really nice, too. It's all the Pizza Planet logos throughout the years. Like, this is multiple different logos. The Rocket, just general stuff. Really cool. All right, dude. Let's come on in here. I want these in a room. Like, could they? Oh, that's, yeah. That just adds so, so much life. How much could this be, dude? If they put 
these in here, like, what if we got green ones of these in the room? That would be so sick. This is That'd just... be a little too sick. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god, look at him, he's a monster. Follow me on whatnot! You get $15 off your first purchase! When I do this... Oh my god! That, <laughs> that actually kind of scared me. Alright, so right here, let's pull it. I'm talking! <laughs> This is the automatic like button switch. As soon as I pull this, everybody who's watching currently is gonna hit the like button. <laughs> Help me, Brad! <Brian. laughs> there we go. We did it. All right, so now we're inside of this. Like, I love this spirit Halloween. We came to this one because they always do like a lot of decorating. But we've gone to the other ones. They just do very bare minimum stuff. But this one is really, really cool. And we heard a really cool audio bite outside from a certain figure or something. We gotta go check it out. I like collecting things. Can I show you my collection? That's crazy, dude. Her collection's right here. <laughs> she collects everything from the late 90s, early 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> the Dragon of the World's biggest horror collection. <laughs> you know, I get it. I almost wish we could put her in like Nickelodeon clothes. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna fix that, dude. But what if, okay guys, if you, this, we're looking around right now for stuff for the room. We, what if we put her and we dressed her in Nickelodeon clothes? What if you dressed her like Cynthia doll? Ooh, I bet they have that costume. There's something we could do with that, I feel. Like. If you guys like anything for the room, we'll definitely pick it up. We're looking for some small stuff because this is not the decorating video. This is the collecting haul video, but very soon we're going to be doing a whole video decorating the room. But we're picking some stuff up today. If you guys see anything you want us to add, we can add that by that video for sure. Think fast. Oh, that wasn't attached. <laughs> but we're gonna get this guy right here, the dropping spider. This thing hooks onto somewhere and then comes down. I think that'd be awesome to have on a shelf just coming down. Maybe when I smack on the table or I clap or something like that, could activate it. Just an idea. We're gonna grab this. So I'm gonna get this angler fish. Definitely gives me rock bottom vibes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna get this. Parker found this, and I mean, we found out that fish were food and they were not friends. And then we're also, I think as of right now, I might grab these lanterns too. I like the purple, I think it'll match good with the green and orange. Think so? Yeah, yeah. Huh, I think so too. Yep. Okay, so we just ran into Michael. So shout out to Michael. He's actually in the store right now. He's a little scammer shy, so I don't want to put him on the spot, but awesome to see him. And we got some awesome stuff. I showed him some of this cool stuff. Got to have a conversation. So shout out to you, Michael. Hope you see this. But let's continue shopping. What are they doing, son of a scythe man? <laughs> That's an ancient artifact, bro. <laughs> Billy, Mandy, where are you? I lost my life in a limbo contest. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we just got everything right now. We're going to head out. Oh, I can't show you one thing. I got a little surprise maybe we'll check it out when we get there but anyway let's head back to the cavern all right guys so we have returned from spirit halloween i got two bags over here and my avatar bag as well i got something a little special in this one but you have to stick around to see that let's check out the stuff that we saw in the store so first piece is gonna go great in our avatar setup and that is the katara necklace my only complaint is i feel like this could have been made a little more taut Katara is always very tight you know it's almost like in the skin almost yeah yeah, yeah. but i mean realistically this is probably the best we're gonna get as far as an actual avatar representation of her necklace that is actually licensed that's what i love about these halloween videos is you're able to get stuff like props for the show so to speak that are literally limited to spirit halloween and later down the line they become actually kind of rare because just the next year sometimes you can't find the items they had the last year Ten. katara's necklace a 10 10. Dude, you don't understand. Maybe I'm biased. They don't make any you got a Avatar big products. Buy ass, okay? <laughs> that is a big buy. They don't make any Avatar products ever, and especially something that's so. It's got backwards devil sixes it's... on it. Well, it could be nice. Not the way I'm looking at it. <laughs> well, well, that's just perspective. <laughs> Alright, we'll give it a medium seven and a half on screen. Just because I feel like we can't give them a 10, and then they think, oh, we were done with Katara's necklace. We've done the best. Oh, yeah, I agree with that, but at the same time. It could be better. It could be better. This only came out because they. Come had... in! I also got this right here. This is a Haunted Mansion bag clip. This is not Nickelodeon related, but you guys do know I do collect Disney or anything animation related. Haunted Mansion is like one of the few things that's not animated that was Disney, I think. But man, that movie with Eddie Murphy, a <laughs> classic. They had some really cool Haunted Mansion stuff there, but of course it's not really gonna fit the vibe here. But I did get this because I love these bag clips. We got two mystery ones there and a Madame Leota. That's actually what I'm hoping to get is the Madame Leota. Let's go ahead and pop it open and see which one we did get. We got, ah, this is the opera ghost. What is her name? Hey dude, we got one of the exclusive. 
this? Why do I always never know that I got the rare? We just did a video the other day where I pulled like the best thing and I was like, oh, that's not it. And then it was. So again, I got the rare. Absolutely awesome. On here, they just put them as henchmen and stuff like that. But every single character in the Haunted Mansion has a canon like lore to it and a name. So I'm sure this character has a real name. Really cool. All right. And then for this guy, I mean, we can't really give it too much of a rating because it's just a keychain. But let's just go ahead and give it an eight for quality. Okay. So getting back on the Nick vibes here. So we got this. This is just sick. Let's go ahead and separate it now that we get out of the store. What the scallop? There we go. We got it separated. We got Drizzy Drake at the back, like I said. Then we got the actual butt. It's actually buttons. I actually didn't realize that in the store. I thought it was like a Ooh. zipper. I love when they make costumes to where you can keep wearing it after Halloween and it doesn't look that bad. Because when I dressed up as a red M&M and then I wore that to school the next day, everybody beat me up and I became a purple M&M. That, that's just sad. Yeah. Yeah. Did you call yourself Eminem like the rapper though? I, I did ask the, the real Slim Shady to stand up quite a few times. Nah, uh, you probably had it coming. Yeah. <laughs> but we got the actual jacket. Let's go ahead and try this one on. I can't wait. We did try out the Pizza Planet one, but this one, man, I I, I already know I'm gonna wear this for sure. I mean, this it's is a what little all snug, the... but it fits. We got medium. Oh, I got a medium. I genuinely didn't even realize what size I was grabbing. That was bad on my part. I thought they were all one size fits all because we got something else that was one size fits all. So this is a medium. I wear an XL. I can fit into like a freaking medium if I want to, but it's not comfortable. I would say you're definitely a large, but that's sick. A yeah. pizza for you and me. Yeah, you know, to be honest, we go back to Spirit Halloween and some other stuff. I might just take this back and swap it out with an extra large or a large. But either way, this thing is sick and I would not tie these strings. I would just leave them like that. I got to give this a freaking nine, man, because I mean, you could wear this out for Halloween, but then the jacket, you could just have its own separate thing. Yeah. Cross the Dude, that looks sick. I mean, it's like you can wear it with a light attire, white, or you can do like all dark black. Even if you don't want to wear the, the actual hat, you could just button this piece up and put it on your belt loop. I just like having accessories that I don't actually use just so I can get the aesthetic appeal. All right, now a hat that I actually can fit and that is the Krusty Krab hat. Obviously, usually I like to keep this stuff sealed in the collection, but I've been waiting for them to release a legit Krusty Krab hat for so long, dude. It's perfect. <laughs> that is so cool. And they did release the spatula last year, which again, they did not have this year. So if you want to be the employee of the month every month, the only way to have done it is have been collecting for consecutive years of SpongeBob costumes. We got the spatula and the hat. And what I love about it is you can really put this thing on any thing and then boom it's got a crusty crab hat that's sick <laughs> so that's why we picked this guy out. oh dude over here there we go <laughs> exclusive ghost crusty crab edition <laughs> that's cool yeah yeah it is just a perfect 3D molding of the hat. And then of course, once you rest it on something, it sits just like that. But that's how their hats are in Bikini Bottom. I gotta give this guy eight and a half, just because I do feel like there's some glueage here and they could have upped the quality a little bit better, but this is the best Percy Crab hat we've gotten so far that is show accurate. You know what, give it a nine. On screen, nine good noodle stars, just cause it's Halloween time, perfect. So one of the last like directly Nickelodeon products is this blue jack-o'-lantern basket. I just think it is so so cute. He's got these chubby cheeks on the side. His eyebrows did make their way inside of the basket a little bit. And it's soft on the inside and the whole thing is like a plushy soft material. So I just think this thing looks really, really cool on display. But of course it'd be really cute to go with a blue costume as well. And on the back it does have the Blue's Clue and U logo. And again, this is all licensed product. And I think you can only get this at Spirit Halloween. So this is really, really cool. And of course it'll look great over there somewhere with our blue stuff in the top left. We might even also do a buying video on here where I get my laptop and we go on eBay and we try to find some vintage Nickelodeon Halloween related products. I honestly don't really know all that much as far as how many they've released, but I'm sure there's some out there. And for the blue, I know you're not biased on this one. So what is your real rating? Never biased. You're, you're biased when it comes to a certain bald kid. Oh my God. <laughs> um, let's, I'm gonna give it eight and a half. I like it. All right. I like the idea. Yeah, I'm gonna give it an eight on screen as well. It's not too insane. I wish I had a little bit more size to it, but it is absolutely adorable. It's for children. Okay, when I was a kid, if I came home with this much candy, I would've been depressed because I came home with freaking pillowcases, bruh. I was out there like a night worker, man, slinging it to get that candy, okay? I was going anywhere I had to go, saying trick or treat, whoever I had to to get as much candy as I could. All right, last Nickelodeon item until the last surprise.
surprise item, and that is the Avatar The Last Airbender bag. So this is a typical tote bag. We would use this to go to the thrift store or anything like that, so I grabbed it because we actually have one bag that we take to the thrift store, and it's the no one touches me booty and gets away with it, but even though every time we go, somebody does get away with it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I bring the bag, but like we have another one right here because we always almost fill that bag up and need an extra one, right? Yep. So at least now we have the Oppa one. We'll put all the, the random dumb stuff in here. You know, the Oppa's used to carrying dumb stuff. I mean, Aang's pretty smart. Sokka, he can have his moments, but he's smart too. And then we on the side here, we have the awesome logos. It's a cool design on the side there. Okay, so now this is some stuff that's non-related to Nickelodeon branding, but for this room, I don't think we could have found anything outside Nickelodeon branding that could fit better. True. It gives me total rock bottom vibes. I even told the guy, Michael, that we actually met there. This is like one of the many fish from rock bottom. And of course, it's gonna be over here on the SpongeBob side. I don't know how we're gonna incorporate it quite yet, but man, that thing's got a terrifying bite right there. Okay, come on, dude. You can't give this thing anything less than a 10. The thing was, I was gonna give it a 10. I thought that was so sick yeah. when you said that. <laughs> I almost think, like, Ryan will pop up a picture on screen. Like, we could also paint it, too, like, one of the colors of the fish from Rock Bottom, too. We might leave it white, but if we do leave it white, I think I want to put a light inside it of some kind so it comes out of, like, the, almost the gills or the skeletal system. But we're giving that a 10 all day. That is awesome. All right, next up, we got this spider. Oh, Jesus. Can you imagine that crawling on your face in your sleep? You know they say that when you're asleep that the average person eats five to seven spiders a year and this could be one of them. One time I woke up and I realized my mustache was on my face and I was like, oh, I'm 13. That's not a mustache and I ate it. I can, I can totally understand that. But <laughs> it's got an awesome ectoskeleton on the outside but the whole point of it though is that apparently when you make a loud noise it should elongate or go down the spider web and then retract itself back up. Let's check that out. We need some AAA batteries. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Alright, so let's just say we're doing it right here. What up, breath pack? See, so it's not gonna go like that, but if I smack the table. Hey, that's pretty cool. And then it just sucks himself back up. Pretty cool interaction just to keep the background moving with the Halloween vibes. So we're gonna definitely have him in the back of our setup. I don't know what we're gonna name him. We will call her Dead. <laughs> Uh, we will call her Charlotte because obviously this is the Nickelodeon room and Charlotte's Web is actually a Nickelodeon property from the from the live action movie to the animated movie they made. So this is our Charlotte. I'm giving it a 10 for all of the ligaments that this one seems to have. It does exactly what I paid for and this one was only $12.99. That's pretty priced. Yeah, I like mean, that's I a very it, fair price. I give it eight and a half. Okay, so we got an eight and a half, which is close to how many legs he has. Absolutely awesome. So Per gave it eight and a half, I gave it a 10. Let's go ahead and throw it as a nine on screen. Corn flakes! Oh my gosh. Absolutely <laughs> awesome. Alright, next star are these lights because the thing is that I feel like since this room has so much green and orange already, I think purple is going to be what we're going to be adding into the background to give it more of a Halloween vibe. Let me know what you guys think down below. Let's check these lights out and see if they're bright. I feel like maybe because our setup is so bright you won't even see them on. So we got all three of those right there. I love it. I, I would go ahead and say like an 8 on the design. Like they look great, but the price is what's making me lean towards a 7. I I'd say seven. I mean, they're sick. I yeah. like them. I just wish I could get more because I'm pretty sure it's just a white light and this right here is just purple. You yeah, know? I mean, you might be able to transfer it out, but then that's like, yeah, it's adding extra money to it and stuff. But definitely going to look sick in the background. I don't know how we're going to incorporate them yet. I think because it's only three of them, I might just use two of them because I'm very, like, I like to have symmetry in my, if it doesn't work in my brain, the symmetry's off and I won't even want to be in here. So I think the third one might just go somewhere else in my house unless we end up getting another set of this and we have six, then that's an even number that can be, you know, correctly dispersed. But awesome item nonetheless. And if you guys are looking for Halloween decorations, I recommend Spirit Halloween, but if you're looking for huge ones, go to Home Depot. They have some stuff that'll blow your mind as well. All right, and then last item, the most important of items, and that is the SpongeBob costume. <laughs> that is sick. We just couldn't leave it. We couldn't leave it. Okay, so last time we did this, I do remember we did a Reptar version of this. Somebody sent that in fan mail. I still have it to this day. It doesn't really serve a lot of purpose on a day-to-day -day thing, but it is a piece of the collection. I've always wanted to do these. This is so <laughs> cool, dude. <laughs> All right, so this thing is working out the batteries, and I think this is going to power the motor that blows this thing up. Let's go ahead and throw this thing on. Let's do it like we do our t-shirts. Let's go ahead and do it. I want. A two, a skiddly do. Oh! <laughs> I thought you were gonna hit the dab. We don't dab here. Who put you on the planet? <laughs> <laughs>
All right, so we have the SpongeBob costume on. What are we giving this as a rating first off? Come on! I, I, I mean, I think it's just mandatory to give this thing a 10. Yeah, man. <laughs> Anything less than a 10? You gotta be kidding me. Don't mind me, Mr. Krabs, just taking a little load off. <laughs> Hey, Parker, have you got your $15 for free on whatnot? Not yet. All right, I'm gonna head out. I mean, if you don't even think about it and you just use your imagination, you would never know I was in here. I think, Parker, we might have to talk about this a little bit, just me and you. What? I think that this rough exterior, this plump sponge body of mine is the new me. I think we do the intro now just like this from now on, all right? Welcome home, Bikini Bottom. It's your boy SpongeBob here. Welcome to the channel where I collect absolutely everything from the early 90s, which I was not even really alive for, to the late 2000s. And I'm also trying to create the world's biggest me and the other losers collection. And I also have a snail that has quite a way with words. But you know the drill, Bikini Bottom flip. Here we see Bikini Bottom teeming with life. Hanada! Ryan had some bubbles. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love this thing, dude. Oh, wow. I really think it's time for you to uh, take off the costume. Huh? What? What'd you say? I think it's time for you to take off the costume. I think it's time for you to take off the costume. <laughs> I think it's consuming you. All right. I'll see you later, Parker. You stay cool, Krabsy. That was horrifying. <laughs> <sighs> it's off. Oh, yeah. It's like the symbiote, man. It was so hard to pull off. <laughs> This squirrel's trying to kill me any more of this and I'll just be reduced to a puddle. All right, guys, I had so much fun with you guys. I hope you guys did as well. Make sure you guys smack that like button. For sure, we got the friggin' SpongeBob costume. I got it just for you guys. So make sure you guys smack the like button. Subscribe if you're new here. Also, make sure you guys check me out on what if you guys haven't already. We're doing auctions all the time over there now. And everything, of course, is all animation themed. And very, very soon, I'm also gonna be auctioning off some actual production artwork. I've actually been able to get a connection to where I, I might have some production artwork from a variety different cartoons that are going to be on whatnot too so if you like that kind of stuff along with vintage stuff funko pops you name it check it out but without further ado check out this video on your screen right here guys the last epic video on this channel i know you're gonna love it i'll see you guys over there and stay tuned for the next halloween video and halloween content for the rest of october and as always rat pack i will see you beautiful people in the next one adios